The ECM is located in the front driver's side wheel well behind the felt liner. Make sure the vehicle is in park. To make room for removing the ECM, turn the steering wheel counterclockwise to the left. Then shut off the vehicle and wait five minutes before continuing to allow the vehicle to fully shut down. Using an Allen wrench or hex key, remove any screw you feel will help pull back the felt liner. We recommend eight. Once the screws are removed, from the front of the wheel well, push the felt liner back to expose the ECM. To remove the three connectors from the ECM, slide the red tabs back to unlock each connector. Once the red tabs have been released, press the black tabs down into the connector to release the locking clamps and rotate the locking clamps all the way back to release the connectors. The ECM is secured in a cradle by two large plastic tabs on top of the ECM. With your thumbs, push up on each tab while pulling the ECM towards the rear of the vehicle. Once both tabs are released, the ECM is now free of the vehicle and may be pulled out of the wheel well. For reinstallation, slide the ECM back towards the cradle. Once the bottom of the ECM is nested in its cradle, reconnect the three connectors to the ECM. Close the connector clamps until they click into place, then slide in the red locking tabs. Reattach the felt liner with the screws. The ECM swap is now complete. You may now plug in any device into the OBD2 connector.